All right, question six is the second of our aromatic synthesis questions, and that is for the new orexin antagonist drug. Um, there is an aromatic portion of this, which we can make out of a diaminobenzene with a methyl group and a chlorine on it, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to look at making that. In this case, though, specifically, I said make it from toluene. Um, putting a direct methyl group in place using some of the limited reactions we've talked about is likely to cause errors, so I didn't ask you to do it. So we're going to have this. This is our target, which is a chlorine, a methyl group, two amino groups. And we're starting that from toluene instead of benzene because putting the methyl group in place is annoying. Now, we have two groups ortho to the methyl group. So we have nothing para to the methyl group. So it's very likely that we're going to start off blocking that para position and doing that in such a way that allows us to put everything else ortho to the methyl group. The way we do that is a sulfonation. So if I use sulfuric acid and SO3, I'll get a sulfonic acid. It goes para because it's huge. It's a meta director. The methyl group is an ortho and para director. So both of them are directing here or here. And the molecule is symmetrical. Because it's deactivating the ring, it's unlikely that whatever reaction we choose to do is going to happen twice. So, it doesn't matter which order I do them in. I'm going to start with... Um, I don't know. I think I would actually choose to do nitration first. Um, so, let's do nitro and sulfuric. If I do that, I'm here. Now that's a meta director. So now everything is directing to one spot. The only question here is: is the reaction to de is the ring too deactivated for anything? That may be a realistic concern. Um, it's hard to know. For the moment, we're going to assume it isn't. Um, if we tried it and found out that it was, we do the chlorination first and then the nitration, because the nitration doesn't care. You just heat it up more and it'll work fine. The chlorination might not like the heat so much. So um, I think we're safe, but if there was a problem here, we just reverse these two steps and it would work. We just have to go higher temp-wise. So the nitro will be in place. The chlorine will be in place. I still have a sulfonic acid here and that. Now, I want the sulfonic acid gone. It doesn't take much to get rid of it. So, here we are. We now have two of our... Th two of our three groups in place. And... A third one that's only one functional group transformation away. Now, left to their own devices here, we're going to get a mess. Um, the chlorine is directing ortho and para, the nitro is directing meta, the methyl is directing para. So I have from the methyl group a little bit of activation here, from the nitro group some there, from the chlorine, I have resonance there and there. So this is not pretty. Um, so I'm going to take the next step. I'm going to get rid of the nitro. I'm going to take it down. So if I do that, I have the amino root, which I need to do anyway. It would be nice if we could have done them in one step since... Uh, we're going to have to do the same thing again later, but I don't think that's reasonable here because we need some agreement on where we're going to direct things. So we need a nitration to go right there. Now, are we going to have to try for sulfonation? 
I don't think so. Um, are we going to have to cover up the NH, uh, the, the nitrogen? Questionable. We might. Um, the safe version is to make it into an acetyl group and then do the nitration. Um, but then we start introducing steric problems. So this is not a perfect case either. So let's say I do that first. So we're going to cover up the nitrogen temporarily. The size here is not much of an issue. We just want it to not get protonated by the nitration because that would send things to the wrong direction. Now, at that point, I have the nitrogen and the chlorine both directing here and here. The methyl group is weak. We don't really care what it has to say, but it's going to disagree with those two. Both of those two are resonating to the same two spots. The chlorine is going to do a better job at the para position to it because of electronegativity. It's going to make this a little less favorable. It's going to withdraw electron density inductively from that spot, so we can kind of bet against that one. Um, it's probably not going to be 100 to 0, but it would definitely be very favorable to go to the other spot. So if I do that, nitric and sulfuric, then I'm going to get... at least the majority, my other nitrogen where I want it. And then I got to get rid of the acyl group and reduce the other nitrogen, the other nitro group. Can't do those in the same step. doesn't really matter which way I do it. So I'm going to take the, the other the first nitrogen down and then pull off the protecting group. So that is this. The removal of the acyl group is fairly mild, so I can save that to later and not have a problem with it. And then remove the acyl group, just takes acid and water, a little bit of heat, and we're done. Now, could I have gotten away with going from here directly to nitration from this one? Maybe. Um, it's possible I could nitrate that and get it in the right spot. The chlorine is still going to be inductively causing problems ortho to it. And resonance-wise, both of those would direct where I have the purple arrow drawn already. So the question is protonation of that nitrogen versus the electrophilic attack. Um, I don't think that's a pretty... I, 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 could you get it to work? Possibly. But it's better off you use the acyl group to keep it from screwing up. Um, would I mark it wrong specifically if you did that? No, because electronically it does make sense. But it's always a, a threat with an amino group that it will either get protonated or coordinate to a Lewis acid and then turn from an ortho and para director into a meta director, at which point our regiochemistry goes haywire. So we have to be very aware of that. And generally speaking, we'd avoid it. Um, industrial concerns are a little different because extra steps mean a lot of extra expense if you're dealing with very large scales. So um, they may be better off taking the hit on a mixture and separating it than they would be adding all the steps to protect things and then additional deprotection step. Um, economic concerns versus logic aren't always the same thing when it comes to big scale chemistry. 